So the yeah. guy's consulted for Richie. He, he's a buffoon, but he's harmless. Why should he be part of the campaign? Because it's not harmless in an American president. Nothing he said was wrong or objectionable, as opposed to the man sitting next to me whose name was Fern. Open this book to any page. Okay, well, this is an order form to buy owning yourself. Follow up to the worldwide bestseller. Leasing yourself. <clears throat> It's good to be trapped in a corner. That's when you act. That happens to be true. It is. In my case, it's the only time that I do. So? It's Immanuel Kant. Duty, sublime and mighty name that embraces nothing charming or insinuating but requires submission. Every year, a million freshman philosophy students read that sentence. And, and change their major? You just got a mouthful of wise ass today, don't you? I located the light switch. Could you locate it again? So he cribbed Kant. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? It comes from a 193-page book called A Critique of Practical Reason. It's about metaphysics and epistemology. Tom has impressively boiled it down to two-thirds of one page. Give me another one. Look outside the cave. Right. That's from an old paperback called The Republic by Plato. Lucky Tom has been able to fit it on a fortune cookie so it suits the attention span of the Republican nominee. Well, here he quotes Robert Frost. Good fences make good neighbors. Did he talk about that? Yeah. What did he say? Basically that if you stay within your personal space, you'll end up getting along fine with everyone. You had to study modern poetry? Yes. Is that what Frost meant? No, he meant that boundaries are what alienate us from each other. Why did he say good fences make good neighbors? He was being ironic, but I still don't see What does it remind you of? I believe in hope, not fear. I'm a leader. Not a politician. It's time for an American leader. America's earned a change. I, before E, except after C. It's the fortune cookie candidacy. These are important thinkers, and understanding them can be very useful, and it's not ever going to happen at a four-hour seminar when the president's got an embassy surrounded in Haiti or a keyhole photograph of a heavy water reactor or any of the 50 life-and-death matters that walk across his desk every day. I don't know if he's thinking about Immanuel Kant or not. I doubt it, but if he does, I am comforted at least in my certainty that he is doing his best to reach for all of it and not just the McNuggets. <laughs> is, is it possible? We would be willing to require any less of the person sitting in that chair? The low road? I don't think it is.